Santiago de Compostela is the jewel in Galicia's historic, cultural and medieval crown. Santiago is the Spanish region's most famous and illustrious city with its many monuments and ancient buildings. The city of Santiago de Compostela has world heritage status and receives hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. Santiago's original settlement dates back to the 9th century, as does the beginnings of one of the most spectacular cathedrals in the world. The city is also the resting place of the Apostle St. James, whose connection with both the cathedral and town has led to Santiago's significance as the third most important place in Christendom. The cathedral itself is also the final destination for thousands of pilgrims who every year walk the over 500 mile Camino de Santiago pilgrimage across the Pyrenees in order to reach this impressive city and visit the tomb of the saint himself. This ancient pilgrimage is the third largest after Jerusalem and Rome. But who are these modern pilgrims? In a time of comfortable leisure travel, why do they walk? What makes someone undergo an arduous endeavor such as this? What draws Christian and non-Christian travelers to take weeks and months out of their lives to face the elements and walk the trails to reach their destination of Santiago? Is it simply the old saying about climbing a mountain because it's there? Or is it rooted much deeper? The idea of sacred travel runs deep in human faith dating back to when early humans would climb hilltops to be close to God or the sky. One of the many great spiritual discoveries of Judaism is that we're all pilgrims, strangers seeking God. Even God's chosen had to wander the wilderness to get their souls right. Many Christians claim that a pilgrimage such as this is a way God answers that yearning to physically travel to discover the truths about ourselves by going to a specific place where God and God's own have moved mightily in the past. It sinks in that God really does exist and really is at work amongst us. What about the many non-Christians who walk the Camino? What are their reasons? No TV, no internet, no laptop, no cell phones, no coffee shops. To most that may mean no talk at all for long stretches of time. What are they seeking? Getting over a loss? Getting over an addiction, lose weight? Why do they do it? Christian and non-Christians alike all have one thing in common. They all have a reason to walk the Camino, and each one has a story to tell. Joining these wanderers on the 530-mile journey from saint jean pierre de port in southern France to Santiago de Compostela in Spain, it's our goal to tell the story of El Camino de Santiago through the personal accounts of these modern pilgrims resulting in the documentary, The Spirit of El Camino, The Story of the Modern Pilgrim. We invite you to join us and become a part of this walk, the walk of St. James or Camino de Santiago de Compostela. <laughs>